Well, hey guys, uh, I think I'll go without the wig, uh, partially because it's a serious subject and uh, my last serious video on the waterboard, uh, I went without the wig. Um, but also because it's raining really hard, it's cold. Now, I went out a few minutes ago to get uh, my Diet Canada dry out of the car. I don't care to go back out there on uh, this hurricane. Um, uh, like a lot of people, I, I'm wondering how many uh, more sinkholes are going to appear in our town after after this rain, how much of our eroding, uh, dilapidated infrastructure uh, is going to give way. That leads me to the waterboard uh, issue. I was reading an article uh, today uh, where uh, the water board is uh, discussing their plan. I'm going to vote on a contract tomorrow for a plan to not just replace uh, all the lead service lines, which could possibly uh, be um, something like 4,800, 4,900 lines and cost, um, I forget the exact math, math. it's in the low 20 millions. Um, but they want to replace all the lines. Uh, that led me to suspect that maybe uh, houses that did not have lead service lines still tested for high lead, which would indicate the, la the, the mains are leaching. Um, and I checked with some people who would know this, and they said, yes, there's uh, definitely indications that that's going on. Um, so the, the panic in the water board uh, is probably even higher now than it was uh, a couple weeks ago. Replacing all the mains in Clarksburg, I don't even want to imagine what that's going to cost. Surely there will be some uh, federal grants and things like that but it's going to be very expensive. Um, we're going to have to, you know, they're talking about, you know, the, the pace at which we move will be determined by uh, our funding streams. You know, is the county going to give us money? Is the city council going to give us money? You know, th this is an issue that I wish um, didn't exist, but it does. And it, it looks like it's something that can't be ignored any longer. Like a lot of people, I suggest or suspect that the reason they lied to the EPA in 2019 is they knew this issue was out there. They knew there was no political will to fix it. And so they slept on it. And uh, here we are. Um, and we still have a council discussing ways to spend the money on on things of secondary importance or things that aren't important at all or things that are just ridiculous like what broadband um you know um I, I think the citizens really need to make their voice heard that little survey that they put out listed all kinds of options that aren't legal meaning uh, the bill does not allow the money to be moved around from buckets like like they're suggesting it does um, but even if it were, it shouldn't be the priority. Fixing our infrastructure has to be the priority because nobody will want to move or locate a business here with us being little Flint. And we, the citizens, have to make that clear to the council. I'll holler at you later.